Um, my name is Jill and Mark. Hello. And this is our children, Evie. This is Jonah and Charlie. Yeah. So we got in touch with Mr. Trump and found out about the volunteer experience in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And we went for one week to a village called Mai Chau, which is in the mountains. And we worked with um, a social enterprise there, which is a place where some women with disabilities and who live in poverty uh, work in a shop and make beautiful handicrafts. So we worked with the women there and we taught them English. I'll leave it to you to say some other things. Um, and we stayed with a family there and we had learned lots of different things. And uh, the women have amazing skills and uh, they're very inspiring to be with. So all of us had a wonderful time there. We got to do some leisure activities. We went bike riding and we went to visit a cave. We had beautiful food and we were very well looked after. And Mr. Trong arranged the transport to get to Mai Chau and the accommodation and we didn't have to worry about anything. So it was an amazing week and we have had a wonderful time in Vietnam but our best time was at Mai Chau. Okay. Yeah. Mark? Yeah, sure, yeah. Um, so we, um, in the village in Mai Chau, um, Charlie learned a lot about embroidery. So the, the, the social enterprise in Mai Chau was uh, called Hoa Ban. Hoa Ban, I think that's the correct yeah, pronunciation, Hoa Ban. And they make beautiful handicrafts and bags, and we bought some bags actually, because they're that, they're that good. And uh, it was fantastic learning about how they make their products. Um, Charlie and Evie were really interested in doing that. Um, do you want to say anything about that, Charlie, about the embroidery? Uh, but, you, but you made some terrific embroidery, um, and Evie learned some embroidery as well. And one of the great things to do was to spend time with the women teaching them English, and talking about um, some skills that we take for granted in Australia, but that are, I think are useful for the women in English, and talking to customers and helping customers in the shop. Um, and Jonah spent um, time with playing with the family and um, learning. What did you learn in, in your time, Jonah? Vietnamese numbers. Yeah, Vietnamese numbers. <laughs> what's, number, what's 50, Jonah? Do you know 50? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And who knows what hello is in Vietnamese? <laughs> Say again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but it was, like Jill said, it was a wonderful time staying in the village, learning, meeting the local community. And one of the great things about, um, you know, we've been staying in Hanoi and yeah. a few other places in Vietnam, and it's been a terrific time. But the difference in living in a village is that you get to meet people you don't meet in staying in hotels and on normal holiday. Yeah. So you build relationships with people and understand them and have lots of fun and laughs <laughs> with people that you don't normally get. And that's an experience that you can't, you know, it's, it's a great experience. So we're very grateful for VEO for setting us up. And we should also say the translator that was provided because it was great to have a translator, Mr. Zhu, who was able to translate uh, for the people in the village. For us, that was really useful and he was wonderful and we had lots of laughs with him and also Miss Cook who runs the enterprise. But it's been a terrific time in Vietnam and uh, we wish you a happy Lunar New Year. Happy Tet, which is coming up soon uh, and good luck for you. Um, do you want to wish Happy Tet? Chúc mừng năm mới. Chúc mừng năm mới. Yes. Chúc mừng năm mới. 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 Happy New Year and uh, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Hi, my name is Scott. I've been teaching with EID uh, in Hanoi for uh, a little over a month now. Uh, I really enjoy uh, working with uh, the company. They're really professional. Um, they uh, they fixed me up with some really uh, nice schools um, and uh, the staff uh, at EID have uh, gone out of their way to help set me up in Hanoi and make sure that I'm comfortable and I have everything that I, 
I need to enjoy my stay here, um, in particular Cha, uh, the uh, executive has been uh, exceptionally helpful and looked after a lot of my needs and um, she's always available to uh, answer any of my questions and to help me out whenever I got a little bit of a problem, a little bit of a challenge. Um, I hope that um, maybe they can uh, reduce my hours on the weekend in the future <laughs> and give me Saturday and Sunday off, but that might not happen, so uh, in the meantime I'm just happy that they're able to find me as many hours as, as possible and uh, I look forward to uh, I took the memoir, Happy New Year 2014. Happy New Year, EIB. Happy New Year, EIB. You're all wonderful people. I love working with you. God bless Vietnam. Hello, wish everyone Happy New Year and Ted. Uh, I wish everyone good health, uh, prosperity, and good luck in the new upcoming year. And um, all the best. Hi, everyone. I hope you have a nice. Tate Holiday has been the longest server in the IB for over a year between Ho Chi Minh City as well as Hanoi. I wish you all the best and all your dreams come true in your Tate Holiday. So all the best from me from Scotland. Have fun and remember when you get drunk make sure you have a baby ready for you. <laughs> Make sure you be safe, okay? And don't be stupid. And do not drive and drink, but have fun. <laughs>